ora tato katoa, hari mai ki wai harakeke. Welcome to Lansdowne Park in Blenheim. It's the top of the North Island taking on the top of the South as the Tasman Mako take on the Northland Cody. It's the final match of the regular season for these two sides and a dress rehearsal for knockout football as both teams could earn themselves a home semi with a victory here today. So the scrum is clean for the Cody. It's Savage with the ball and she floats it over to Proctor who goes straight through. Proctor now looking for options and goes wide. It's Mari Weehongi. Mari Weehongi will go all the way, will she? Solomona grabs her with one hand and drags her down. What a tackle. Now O'Sullivan going for the line. They're five metres out the Cody. Savage plays scrum half and finds Charmaine Smith. She's met in the tackle of Siatanga. Sullivan, they need to go wide. Proctor sees the space, slings it. Murray decides to carry. Pressure on the ball. O'Sullivan slows it down, finds Wikaida. She rumbles forward, opts not to offload. Down to ground, they come back for a penalty. Advantage was being played. And we thought, here she goes, Alicia Proctor. And I thought Maru Weehongi was going to go all the way, but I don't know if you can call this a tackle or just a one-handed scrag to the ground. Lucky to get away with that, I think. Crystal Murray with the kick at goal. She was four from four last week, the loose head prop, kicking at goal. And the kick's away from in front, so Crystal Murray misses her first kick of the match. as they send it back and it's a panicked kick that does not find touch and again the muckle Sarah Jones collecting the ball cleanly a legal turnover from Kovacic however and they'll get a penalty and they're pointing towards the posts Tango's first kick of the match is successful. The Mako take the lead early in this one. It's 3-0. Savage. Through the hands they go. Kovacic looking dangerous. Threatening with ball in hand. Harmony Kovacic now quickly. Takura Nata Arangamate pick and go. Crystal Murray through the middle of them. Beating one. Still going Crystal Murray. Great carry there. Proctor, Savage at second receiver. Karina Blair smashed in the tackle. Who else but Sui Poa Getting her arms around the ball. Credence Brown with a settling carry. She manages to go forward. Now Wikaida, the pick and go, the option from the Cody. Kurenata Arangamati again going forward. They're going close to the line here. Charmaine Smith has a dive at the line. Repelled. Credence Brown. Great defence from the Mako there. O'Sullivan assessing her options. Back to Charmaine Smith. Wrestled to ground by Siatanga and they're over the ball. Through the middle they go and it's a try. Patient work from the Cody rewarded. Oh, Tasma might have got over this ball here off Charmaine Smith's carry, but just cleaned out last minute, just in time for, make a space there for Te Kurenata Airangamate to put North and Cody on the board. This will be the ideal time for them to score right before halftime, allow them to go into the sheds with lots of confidence. Over the top, it's taken down. Solomona in the line out. Manages to collect it, the winger. And they go through the hands. It's a good run here from Neve Anglesey in the middle of the field. And an advantage being played. The tackle was high. It's now Isiali Tofa goes forward in the carry. The Mako building nicely here. Garnet met hard. And they'll come back for the advantage being played for the high tackle. Northland Cody on defence there, getting up off the line quick. 
just stopping this Marco team in their tracks. You can see the line-out was on the 22. They didn't manage to get over the 22. Siatanga with the kick. And rewarded at 7-6, to six, just one point in it. At 7-6 to six at half-time, so much to play for with 40 minutes left. As we kick off, the Cody kicking to the Muckle. The Muckle bringing it forward. Aggressive counter ruck coming in from the Cody. Goes back to Dixon, who punts it downfield. Murray Weehongi, she's been dangerous in the counter today, and she breaks straight through them. Murray Weehongi taken down. Sarah Jones manages to wrap her up. O'Sullivan, Brown, the tight forwards now, linking together nicely and sending the ball wide, Tierney. She goes over, and that's an excellent try straight after half-time from the Cody. And then we see there's a few forwards stuck out wide, Tasman, and the skip ball from prop Crystal Murray out to Ocean Tierney to finish off the next county's rugby players, Ocean Tierney, and just... Finding a way over the line for this Northland Cody. Fantastic start to the second half. Interestingly gone for the five metre line out option here from the not straight throw. And they go to the front through Charmaine Smith and set them all. It is well set and it's going forward. To Kurenata Arangamata at the back. She goes for the line, she's just short. Karina Blair dives over. Great try for the Cody. Te Kura Nata Airanga Mate just showing her experience and patience at the back of that mall. As you can see, they just wheeled the Tasman Mako around there. Te Kura Nata Airanga Mate just short. But eventually the try was scored and North and Cody extend their lead down here in Blenheim. Murray. Skip past Smith, fires it wildly. Two handed shuffle pass, quickly taken. Takura Nata, Airanga Mate with a quick tap, and she goes forward. Great heads up play there. Charmaine Smith, pick and go. Murray thought about it, leaves it behind. Credence Brown, the big prop steaming forward. We Wikaida. Here come the Cody. Over the line, they've got it down. It's a try. Aroha Savage in the 10 jersey, but playing like a forward. She doubles as a 12, a 10. She'll play wherever she's needed, Aroha Savage. But you can see, perhaps forgetting her role a little bit today, out in the backs, decides to get in for a pick and go herself. And just too powerful. She's been there plenty of times in her career. Has Aroha Savage knowing exactly what to do. Nice and low, copybook body position, and gets in under three Tasman Markle players. Smith takes it down again, a clean throw, taken away. Victoria Rogers does well. Faikawa finds Stowers. Stowers getting close to the line. Only just stopped short. Charmaine Smith leaves it behind her. Faikawa goes blind, dots it down. What's the call? There's a flag up. It's going to be a line out. It was deemed to be knocked back from Charmaine Smith. Oh, they've thrown it in quickly, but the referee's already made the mark, so they'll go to a line out. These powerful forwards, nice and low. Set up the all. And here they come, the Cody. It's a well-set maul, it's rumbling towards the line. The Mako trying desperately to repel them, but they won't be able to do it. And that is clinical play from the Cody forward pack, who have just executed to perfection here in the second half. It's been the story of the day, hasn't it? Just these Northland forwards absolutely going to work. And that time just showing too big, too strong, too powerful. The Tasman Mako girls there wasn't much they could do about that. They were going backwards. And Northland Cody, once they get a roll on like that, they're near impossible to stop. And it was the 
replacement hooker, Vaka, I think, who scored that in the end. Just uh, taking a leaf out of Takura Nata Mati's book there. Aroha Savage getting in over the ball. She's penalised. Doesn't agree. Quick tap taken. The Mako have one last chance to get a try on the board. Dixon out wide, Siatanga. Blind offload out the back, and Dixon is there. She floats the pass. Solomon for the line. Knocked on by Guyton, and the Cody come away with it. Some great skill shown there from Cassie Siatanga. But in vain as the Cody now look to attack from inside their 22. TNE does well and finds her outside Ihaka. Faikawa settles things down with a kick that goes straight down the middle and Cassie Siatanga is waiting for it. And she'll have a run at them. Finlay isolated, tries to stay in field. She can't. Crystal Murray with the tackle, bundling her into touch. And the Cody in the second half have come out and put on one heck of a performance and dominated the Tasman Mako. Final score, 31 to six here. The Cody, just too good.